Good morning, students. Um, so we're back again another Tuesday. Um, you know, time is cutting down and it's getting closer and closer to the end of the school year. So today we're gonna look at um, histograms and you know creating frequency histograms given data sets. All right. So I'm not gonna waste your time. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to create your um, how to find your frequency table, how to create your frequency table, and how to create draw your, hist your histogram. All right. So let's go ahead and start. So here we see that we have different intervals, all right? We have zero to five, six to 10, etc. right? So what we're gonna do is the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna identify all the numbers that fall within this interval range here, right? So it says zero to five. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through data here and pick out all the numbers that fall between zero and five. So I look and I have one, I have two, I have three so here i'm going to put how many times the frequency is it was three times all right so then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do uh we're doing six to ten so how many times does data fall between six to ten so we're going to go one uh uh one two three uh, so we only have three here but here, guys, um, I do have an error here because there's one more that falls between 0 and 5, which is 2. So it's 4, not 3, but 4. All right, so that's 4. So now we're going to go to uh, 11 and 15. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have five, 11 and 15, we have five. All right, so now let's look at another one. We got uh, 16 through 20, <coughs> 16 through 20. So we got one, two. So we go 16 through 20, it's two. All right, now we have 21 through 25. So we're gonna go 21 through 25 and I have one, two, three four five six so i have six and you can always check by seeing how many data you have and check to make sure all right so i have six and four ten twenty so i have one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so it's after so now the easy part all right is creating your data we're going to use the the intervals and the frequency here to create my um, table here all right so the first thing that I'm gonna do remember when you join the histogram they got to connect they got to be side by side all right so since this is my starting point from 0 to 5 right I'm gonna say how many frequencies do I had I had four so here I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna go down all right so four so this here represents my first interval point right now i'm gonna go to six through ten it was three so i go from three i go over right i go over and i go down so this represents my second all right now the next one is 11 to 15 is five so 11 to 15 is five so let me slide this over so you can see so i go up to five here all right and i go over down all right next one we have 16 to 20 which is 2 so 16 to 20 is 2 if i find 16 to 20 i find the number 2 which is right here and i go down and that is it for 2 and then the last one i have 6 so i'm going to go all the way up to 6 so I go all the way up to six. Come down here. And then I just shade it. And it is just that simple, guys, how to uh, create. So first thing first, you create your frequency table. And then all you got to do is just use the frequency table points here to make your histogram. All right. So let's go ahead and look at one more example. So again, remember, you can pause the video, copy the notes, all right? So now I'm going to look at the second part here. All right, let's look at the second part. 
we're constructing a frequency histogram mm -hmm. for each of the following right so we have different intervals here so we have 29 to 30 so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and sorry guys my allergies are affecting me so we're going to go 29 to 30 so 29 30 29 30 i have one 29 32 three four five so we have five here 29 to 30 we have five all right then we're gonna go um 31 to 32 so 31 32 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have eleven here all right now let's go to another one we have uh what's it 33 34 so 33 34 we have one two three so we only have three for this one all right then we're gonna go to uh 35 36 so we got one two three four five six so we got six and then 37 to 38 it should be all the remaining ones all right 37 to 38 should be all the remaining ones so we got one two three so we only have three all right one two three so now i have all my information all right so guys one of the things i wanted to i want to point out here is that whenever all right we're going to create our histogram now but whenever you start and you does not you do not start from zero you always going to do your little squiggly all right i call it a squiggly you do your little squiggly that means that the graph starts from zero and it's now it's at this new starting point so 29 to 30 we have five all right 29 to 30 we have five again remember that they join all right 31 to 32 we have 11 so um so this here this this doesn't go all the way up so let's assume that this is 11 right here all right so we have 7 8 9 10 11 so i'm gonna go all the way up here to 11 all right i'm gonna go all the way over to 11 so here i'm gonna share this one as well all right then um we go 33 34 we have three so go three then we have 35 36 we have six so i go up up to six over and down then the last one we have 35 to 38 which is three so we go to three all right and we go over and down all right and that is all you do guys first thing as long as you create your frequency table you just create your frequency table and find the frequency for the data then you use this data information to um go here so here i have the frequency and here i have temperatures all right so that's that's all it is um you know and i can interpret information from this data it can say how many temperature how many times were there temperatures between 31 and 32 if i'm looking at this 31 and 32 i would just look at the amount of times which would be 11. how many times did it fall between 33 and 34 it would be three all right so that's that's all it is guys all right if you have any questions please reach out to me or mr de santa we'll be happy to help you otherwise good job on your assignment all right have a good one